we're gonna take out, I'm gonna just take out these stems. I don't really want that, but then, you know what? It's probably some good fiber in there as well, so. And these are, seem to be very young apples. It's not, the stems are not coming off as easy as I think they should. So we just get those off. We don't want that in there, only because, like I said, Tammy Calloway on Facebook, can you give me a sound check? They said I didn't have sound on the other one, so hopefully you guys can hear. Unless I'm in Facebook jail, I don't know. All right, so um, last up, last of the fruit, we got about six apples. We know yesterday about two, it took about two apples. No way, sis, the pup. Okay, tell me you can hear me. So we know we've got about six apples. We know six apples, two apples gave us about five ounces, so we're gonna have a pretty good juice to drink while we're doing this. And you know that we're doing our juice. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. They say that because uh, in our juice Bible, we find out that apple prevents disease. It literally says that. Apple prevents diseases. What we're, the reason we're doing an apple, carrot, ginger combination, let me grab some ginger. The reason we are doing the apple, carrot, ginger combination is because we are particularly working on digestion the intestine, the middle section, because we're a little swollen around the colon, and we're trying to get that down. Come, well, it is Monday, so we did, we, you know what? We did see some instant results. If you look back, look at the other videos. We did see some instant results. And I was thinking, man, I want to make room so I can go enjoy this pastrami lunch that's coming up. But then it's like, I know this is like, wait a minute, the back pain is gone a little bit. Do I want to go on, keep, continue the, the juice? So, I haven't really decided, um, but what I'm going to do, I have my I have my bag here. I'm going to do my ginger first because I want that at the bottom of the bag because I'm just going to reach into this bag and take some of this filling out. I'm going to call it filling at this point because it's going to become the filling for our cookies. Hopefully, we're going to have cookies. I didn't think to check on my flour, and Patty Betty has decided the flour what? I may not be making the cookie. Where is my flour? Okay, y'all. I remember Patty Betty and I arguing about the flour being up at the top. I might have used all the flour, but I want to talk about the cookies that I made the juice. Let me see. I may not have flour. Oatmeal cookies, and then here comes this got a little bit of oil in it. So, 
I think about adding some nuts, some peanuts, but I needed to see if that will polarize. Because this, if I don't have flour, I could go with the peanut. And I saw a another recipe that called for a little bit of peanut, a little bit of cream, and a little bit of butter. So, test kitchen. So we'll keep that. Because I think that will give us kind of that, like we were thinking about a virgin of an oatmeal cookie. Think about this now. There's a lace cookie that I can do. When you don't have flour, you can create this really nice lace cookie. I saw that on Julia Child's this weekend. Um, I've got cranberry. Oh, here's my cranberries right here. Okay. I've got some cranberry peanuts, cranberry apple. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is going to be delicious. Hey, Stanley, Sean. So, our, our goal was not to throw away all that we use to make our juice. What could we do? What other things could we do? Now I've got some peanuts here. You saw me just kind of ground up peanuts and it looks like I'm gonna have about a cup of that. Um, so we're almost at a candy instead of a cookie because without that flour, that's the only thing. And it was really only um, one and a half cups of flour. So basically, if you want to go with a, if I wanted to go with a lace and a nutty, I could just substitute the peanuts. Um, one cup of, it's got a whole cup of brown sugar in this thing. A half a cup of butter, that's a lot. That tells me that that's pretty much it. Uh, and an egg. And I remember Julia Childs asking a guy on her show, he did not use an egg. And she said, no egg? And he was like, no, no egg. But he was making this lace thing. So, with the butter, with the, I'm thinking with the butter and the egg, and then um, nutmeg, it also had nutmeg in there. And then it has a little salt. The salt and the baking soda, I would not have needed if I had my surprising flour. I don't have that. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is, I'm thinking with all of these components, once you add in butter and brown sugar, duh. Right? Doesn't that sound like heaven? And thinking about going with the peanuts. This is peanuts. I just ground up some peanuts. Now all of my Caribbean and African folk would be like, oh yeah, roll with that. Because I got this, I got that from the store. Okay. Alright, so the first first matter of order is we were gonna make our lunchtime juice. So I said I was gonna go with the ginger first. Let me get this plugged in and make sure we're done with that over there. And we hooked this up yesterday. I need to make sure I have no um, air anywhere. All right, so there's no air anywhere. So that means all of the juice is gonna go in the thing. I put in my ginger first simply because I want my ginger at the bottom. Ask your neighbor for a cup of neighbor. Go to the neighbor and say, can I have a, can I borrow a cup of flour? <laughs> No, we improvised. We just grounded up some peanuts. All right, that is funny, right? Go and look, and I'm not the neighbor to go knock on the door. All right, so I'm putting in the ginger first because I know I'm not gonna use the ginger and I don't want ginger on top of the apple and the carrot, which we're gonna use. That ginger like this knocked me out. We're gonna go ahead with our two apples. Went to the juice Bible, we looked at the juice Bible to see 
what was good for the intestine, what was good for the digestion, what was good to help us get a flat belly come Monday. It is Monday, so we need to finish up our juicing. And the last of our fruit actually gave us a half a, um, half a container. So we have about 20 ounces instead of our regular 32 ounces. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour that off for you guys so you can see that. Carrot apple ginger juice. Right amount of ginger that time. Woo! Um, very sweet with the apples. Of course, carrots are sweet as well. Remember we talked about juicing? Juicing uses all of your senses, what you see, what you smell, and what you taste. We see the carrots, we taste the apple, we smell the ginger. See the carrot, taste the apple, smell the ginger. We taste the ginger as well, because I put a good little block in there, the last little block in there. Okay, so I'm gonna drink this while we continue our work here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this down. Actually, I'm gonna slide this back. We're not gonna clean it just yet, because I, want, I don't wanna be on too long. But I'm gonna go ahead and break this down and get my the waste out of here, because this is what we want. See that? See that? That's what we that's what we want to do. So I'm gonna get this over in the sink here. We'll get that rinsed off. But this is what we want to figure out. What can we do with this? It's on everybody's shot. What can we do with that besides throw it away? For those of us that are not diehard vegans, diehard juicers, we were just kind of concerned, like, you know, hey, wait a minute, that's a that's a lot of, of waste. So we tried, uh, like some say, hey, take it, put it, make a little ball, put it in the other, add a little things to it. Over the last couple of days, I've been thinking like, what really can I do with that? Um, as you can see, it still has a little bit of moisture in it, not a lot, but it could definitely be formed. And you know everybody loves carrot cake. You know everybody loves, um, you know everybody loves some of everything. Wait a minute, let me grab a couple ingredients here. <coughs> so we're gonna grab some brown sugar. That's gonna go with it. You the best ATL scoper girl, thank you. Hey Beverly Rose, Chitachi. What's up my Instagram folks? So what I'm thinking, all, all night it's been on my head, carrot apple cookies, carrot apple cookies. Of course, everybody loves carrot cake. Everybody loves apple cookies. Everybody loves oatmeal cookies. Now, I, you know what? Let me think about oatmeal. I have, my daughter, my daughter kept buying this oatmeal, and I'm not an oatmeal eater. I don't eat oatmeal, but we got oatmeal. We'll take a packet. Of, look, y'all, we are being ingenious here. We are being ingenious here. I'm thinking. We are going to take all these ingredients, put it in a bowl with some brown sugar and some egg and some butter. Let me get the butter. I think we might have something that we could possibly reimagine. We're trying to reimagine here. Now, I don't, yeah. And I didn't have raisins, but I did have cranberries. Okay, so. A basic cookie, a basic cookie, a basic cake, a basic bread is basically your flour, a liquid. Um, but think about people that are not eating white flour and all this other kind of stuff. So I'm trying. I was trying to figure out what can I substitute for the one and a half cup of flour. And so I just grabbed. I love I love this experimental kitchen that I have. I just grabbed some peanuts. I have peanuts in there that I was gonna make uh, a sauce with. And I'm gonna substitute, I'm gonna add that. That's gonna be my kind of my gluten there, right? So, um, in fact, the guy that was on Julia Child, he used walnuts, or uh, was it wal almonds? And he just ground it up and she was like, wait, you're not doing this? Okay, so we're gonna experiment, okay. Um, since I'm not using flour and I want a little bit of rise out of this, I think I will use a little bit of baking soda and some salt because I don't know that the butter is salted, so I don't I don't doubt adding a little salt will take it another way. Um, and oatmeal. So I'm thinking 
at this point, we're going to do just kind of a dump situation, right? I think once we begin to dump, as long as we know, I'm mean, the butter, I don't remember if, I think the butter was melted, and it, the butter was actually half a cup of butter, so we're going to get half a stick of butter and melt that down. Remember what was the lesson we learned about the microwave? Not to put our measuring cup in the microwave. So we will not put our measuring cup in the microwave. But you know what? I said a half a cup of butter. I'm almost thinking that's a stick of butter, right? Isn't that a stick of butter? Wait, where's my butter on this list? I almost think that's a stick of butter. So we'll just, that's four ounces right here. So we're gonna go with that. I don't wanna put that one in there. We'll just go with this one. I'm gonna do a stick of butter. I always love that. Y'all know, know I love, uh, did I just like, I hope I didn't flash nobody when I was reaching up. Um, I always love that Sesame Street thing when, the, when her mother sends her to the store and she needs to get a container of milk a stick of butter and a loaf of bread. And she's trying to remember everything it is. And I said a little bit of salt. So we're gonna go with a little bit of a little bit of salt on there. And I can actually push this back then and get this out of the way. Let's go ahead while that butter is melting. A couple of things going on here in the sink. Get these here things all rinsed off. There we go, our butter's ready. Where is my brush? So I really want y'all not to be afraid of the juicer, so I wanna show you how fast it can get back to the order here. All you do is basically rinsing off your your contain your pieces, and then periodically just throwing them in the um in the dishwasher. So if you're gonna continue juicing, you just go ahead and put it all back together there. And I mean, literally, it does just rinse off. But you definitely want to, you know, at some point, just go ahead and put it in a dishwasher and let that run through. Especially if you keep it out. Because you know how the kitchen is. I mean, it will pick up every grease, and spackle, and so forth. There we go. Let's go ahead and put that back in the corner there. Slide that back. Wipe up my juice mess I have here. All right, so what we're trying to do, guys, just kind of creatively trying to come up with an idea of what we can do with the waste from the juice. And literally, it's got to be something, I think. So we're going to come up with, we just decided to come up with, we're going to rehydrate. Um, this that we took out, what was my other liquid? See, it really didn't have a li other liquid in there except for one egg. There was no milk. There was no, yeah, just basically making a dough ball butter. All right. It said, what, a half a cup of, a half a cup of butter. I, I think we got us a half a cup of butter. Yum. A little bit more than a half a cup of butter, but who's counting? Okay. All right, so now we're basically just going to do a little bit of a dump. All right, for those that are looking at it, we're going to do just basically a little bit of a dump. I do have some oatmeal, so I'm going to put some oatmeal in there. And actually, you know what? I could have ground up since I did need some flour. But um, I'm going to leave one hole. But what if I were to? What does that look like if I was to ground up an oatmeal? I'm not a soap maker. Our soap, we've seen our soap maker grind up a lot of oatmeal. But 
we've never ground up oatmeal. Our soap maker makes all this stuff to go in the soap. Okay, there we go. So now we have another little light substance. I probably should have ground it up all of it. Let's do another one. Now. How about that? Since we don't have a flour, I'm just trying to come up with a little bit more of a consistency that will be give us that cake like. Patty Bay is gonna come home looking for her oatmeal, y'all. And I wanna keep some oatmeal flakes in there, but I'm gonna drop this in here and ground this up. Patty Bay is gonna come home looking like, where's my oatmeal? I'm like, oh, what? She's probably looking at the video. All right, we got our butter, we got our oatmeal. I think this might be a late meal. And you know, it's so funny, I remember when I was a kid, my best friend and I went in the kitchen experience, trying to experiment with Mexican And her mother came home and threw it away. She was like, yo, I'm not eating that mess. All right, so now we have, we have some whole oatmeal. We've got some dried oatmeal. And we're gonna dump that in there to which I'm supposed to, as bakers love to do, dry ingredients, wet ingredients, then incorporate. Nobody on this video has reminded me to do that. And I don't know if this is really a dry ingredient, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in our peanuts. So now we've got oatmeal and peanut going in here. And the peanut actually feels kind of warm. Of course, the peanuts is a little bit of a oil. Has, you know, peanut, it would've been peanut butter. We could have taken the peanuts, and these are raw peanuts. Could have taken the peanuts and made um, peanut butter. So our dry ingredients have gone in there, to which we're gonna add our stuffing later, but apparently in another bowl, I'm supposed to take my sugar, the butter, and the egg. needs to go together. So then we would incorporate that. So the butter, might as well add the rest of the butter and a cup of brown sugar. So we've got brown sugar here. All these, all these uh, variations of stuff we've got going on here. Cup of brown sugar. And folks always say, pat it down, pat it down. Brown sugar always looks like it's alive to me, I swear. It's always like moving, not, not, probably not quite a cup. Mm. All right, all right, a cup of brown sugar. A carrot and apple and cranberries and oatmeal and peanut. Man, be careful of your allergies. All right, to which I have to add an egg. Okay, so the butter, an egg, Egg in the butter, brown sugar goes in, and then I have to, I'm supposed to beat that, which I need to. Oh, because it has to, okay, incorporate. So then we got a cup of the brown sugar. Oh, and I'm not taking any pictures of this stuff, y'all. So, how on earth did I end up with, look at these peanuts, I'm like, whoa. It's like forming a little dough in there already. I'm not a baker, so this stuff looks all together strange to me. We gotta get this juice down, that's for one thing. That's first and foremost, is to get the juice in there. All right, and of course I want that foam. Remember we talked about the foam? That's where all the fiber went. All right, so sit that there. I'm no, I'm not a baker, I'm not a nutritionist, not a doctor, I'm not trying to play one on live stream. Having fun in the kitchen. Having fun in the kitchen. Wait a minute, okay, this goes in here. I hope these will work on this one because it goes to another one. Let's see, I don't want to have a pull out the big system. 
locking them. Oh, there it is. It popped that little button up. Okay. I think it's in there now. All right. Let's go on low. Whoa. Also, what is this? Okay, that certainly whipped up that butter. And this is a lot, y'all. I'm, I'm wondering if that's like too much. What did I, what, did, what are my measurements on there? I may not need all of it because I have to incorporate that in there too. I may need like another egg or something, feel like. And the peanuts are already kind of forming a dough. This is definitely gonna make a dough. I feel like I need a little something, something. I don't know that I wanna use all of this. And I'm not a baker, so I don't know what the, you know, it, it, it's always a cup of this, a cup of that, a cup of that. Oh, I forgot about the nutmeg too. I mean, well, we already got, is this too much though? This might be a little bit too much because it's only supposed to have like a cup of flour. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some of that out and just see what we're going with. That seems like that's gonna be a lot to incorporate into this. So let's dump this in here. Peanuts and oatmeal. And we'll put it back in, in a, we know we need only a cup and a half, supposed to be. So there's a cup, I guess we were right on the money. Look at that, there's a cup. But see, I don't know. All right, let's go with a cup. Cause we got peanut in there, you, got, you gotta put this in there, you gotta put that in there. And then I'm supposed to incorporate all this in there. It's a lot, y'all. All right. Folding in the butter, butter, sugar, and what else went in here? This is three things, butter, sugar, egg. I feel like I need another egg. I seem like that egg might have been kind of small. We'll see what it looks like when we stir, because we still gotta, we're just gonna fold that in there, because for flour we're using, we're basically using the oatmeal and the peanuts. We get the cookie dough for sure. Definitely get the cookie dough. But I still feel like I might need another egg because I am gonna incorporate that in there. So, to this. We're gonna put in a little bit of cream. So basically, as y'all can see, we did end up with the dough, the basis of a dough. Um, I need to add a little bit of salt to bring out the sugar. And it was just kind of like a little teaspoon of salt. But you notice how everything sweet has a little bit of salt. Cranberries going in, and then this stuff. But I'm, I almost wanna say, Another egg? We'll see once this goes, cause this is, okay. So I'm gonna put in, I'm not gonna use all of this, I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. A Little bit of carrot, definitely this, the apple. This is the ball of the apple remnants. We're basically making carrot apple, carrot apple cookies. And it sounds good and it smells divine, so. I'm, Trying to go through and get a little bit more of the apple part. And, and you notice there are some app, the, some real apple pieces left over in there. All right. It looks good, it smells good. I think I might need another egg though. But let me add a little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg was on basically about a, a teaspoon of nutmeg. That sounds like that's gonna really take it over, over the top there. All right, a teaspoon of nutmeg. So, that's a lot of nutmeg. But when you think about your brown sugar, almost like your um, pecan pie kind of thing, 
Hamilton, Christopher, Drake Chef, I'm there. So let me, now it smells like some bacon up in here. Smells like some bacon up in here. Not bacon, baking. Smell like somebody's baking. All righty now. So let's, let's get that stir. Y'all, this looks like a cookie dough with the cranberries in there. That looks like that's gonna be a good dough, right? See that, everybody see that on that shot? Looks like we may be onto something. So the only thing missing is the flour, which we actually kind of made our own flour by um, crushing up the oatmeal and the, um, so I still think I want another little egg in there. Only because we use so much of the dry ingredients. I'm just gonna whip this egg up right quick. And then we will Small. In fact, why don't I try and scrape all this extra sugar into that egg? I don't want to make scrambled eggs. Getting all that sugar in there. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Carrot, apple, cranberry cookies, oatmeal. Damn, we got everything in here. Smells like oatmeal, carrots, I smell like carrots, apples. Here we go. See that? I think we have a dough, y'all. I think we have a dough, y'all. Let me get some of this stuff out of our way so that we can proceed. Um, I ended up taking out about a half of, taking out, I really could go in there with it, but mm, we don't know what we're doing, so. I almost want to pour the juice back in it, um, or a little bit of the juice in there. All right, so, and I was thinking about making a little bit of a caramel drizzle to go across these. So what I'm gonna do now is just very simply get that oven preheated, which I should have done, and I'm just gonna drop these bad boys as soon as I find my sponge there. All my things that need to go towards the sink there, I didn't use that one. Um, that will go here. So can... Huh? Now you're gonna store when I needed some flour a minute ago. Huh? Oh, the hair stuff. All right. So let's gonna just, just clean it up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take our oatmeal cranberry. No, app, let's go back. Carrot apple cookies. Carrot apple oatmeal cookies. Impro, impro, improvisational cookie. All right. So we're going to. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put down some parchment paper. Simply because I want my bottom of my cookie to be as fantastic as the top of my cookie. And here we go. All my vegan friends out there, and I'm pretty sure y'all probably said, no, it's got this in it, it's got that in it, it's got this in it, it's got that in it, whatever. So, it's, and still got a little couple of large pieces of egg on there. This is interesting. I'm just gonna do a couple of little drops on there. Because what we don't expect it to do is to do a lot of rise and spread because we did not use the self-rising flours and uh, baking soda and all of that. So I'm going to do a variation of droplets just to see what happens. I'm, I'm really proud of the oatmeal. Look at the pieces of apple. I guess I could leave that on there, huh? 
We're just gonna experiment and see what happens in the oven. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. I like the egg. I like the consistency of it though. I mean at least on at least on the video it looks good, right? But it does guys, it does smell really good. It does smell really, really, really good. And what I expect is I expect for that the sugar to really be the center of this. What did I, I just had a napkin? What did I do with it? I really expect for the, what's my towel? I hate using all my napkins. Um, I really expect for the sugar, the sugar and the egg and the oatmeal to really be the center of attraction. And then the cranberries in there. And then of course to have that apple and the uh, thing. But I think what's gonna happen is just like on the lace cookies, when you use just basically the sugar, egg, and um, and things, it basically spreads out. Almost looks more like a caramel. So it, we, we don't have a flour base, but we definitely have the oatmeal and the peanuts. What we don't know is how the peanut in there is going to react. So keep in mind, I did use peanut for those that have allergies. So we're gonna see if our oven is giving us a little bit of heat and we'll go in with that. And we'll just um, give it about a few minutes and then we'll take a look at it. And I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be, I'm not gonna try to cook the whole thing while you guys are on. Um, we'll just kind of look at it. What I'm looking for is to see if I get, I guess I could have put, only have a couple more cranberries left and I could have just dumped those in. So we'll finish off that in the next batch. Um, we're just gonna kind of look and see what it does. If it spreads, if the, if the sugar, um, what the sugar does for us. I use my Nutribullet to pulverize my oatmeal and my peanuts. And again, with the Nutribullet, everything on the Nutribullet just rinses so you can put it right on in the dishwasher. I'm gonna put the blades back over here though. In my little cups, you just put them on in the dishwasher. Or you just give them, like I said, a little rinse, a little brush. I wish if I had known I had the oatmeal before I used the peanuts, I probably would have gone with just the oatmeal. So I'm wondering how the peanuts are gonna taste. But then that's almost gonna give me almost like a peanut butter cookie, right? When you think about it. So that'll probably give me almost like a peanut butter cookie. So basically out of this one batter, we got pretty much everything in there, right? And we basically tried to take a couple of ingredients. I don't wanna open that oven just yet. We basically just tried to take a couple of ingredients and um, to another level and we've gone on an actual explosion of things. So the dough that you're looking at right there and it's not your average cookie dough, it's almost like a trail mix kind of, what is it? Um, oh my God. What can we call, what would we call this thing, y'all? I don't know. What did y'all have, what did y'all have for lunch? Cause this is my lunch right here. Juice. I did eat breakfast. Oh, that ginger is so good. I am loving the ginger. Oh, the ginger in the juice is so good. It looks like such an overcast. It looks like such an overcast thing. All right, so we're waiting, we're experimenting. For those of you that are just coming on, we are experimenting with um, basically a cookie dough using the pulp that came out of the juice. After we made our carrot apple juice, carrot apple ginger juice, we thought, you know, everybody's like, it's just a lot to throw away. What can we do with it? So we took it and we just added some brown sugar, salt, uh, cranberries. Then of course we had oatmeal and peanuts. So we grounded up our oatmeal with our oatmeal and our peanuts. And to that we added a cup of 
brown sugar, a half a cup of butter, so that's the, the heavenly trinity. <coughs> the heaven, heavenly trinity is in there. Um, brown sugar, butter, and egg to the remnants of a carrot apple juice to get a carrot apple, we're hoping a carrot apple cookie. So I'm hoping that if anything, it will spread. Now I'm not getting a spread, but I do hear a nice sizzle going on. Does that make, does that make sense? I definitely hear a really nice um, sizzle. So I don't know. It's not melting, you know how it's like melting and condensing down because we don't have that cookie, that cookie batter in there. But I hear a really nice sizzle, which tells me the butter and the egg is doing something a little bit with the oatmeal and the, um, what else? It's a lot in that thing, so. I think we're gonna have a dip, little bit different version than what we than when we took just the remnants and sprinkled it with cinnamon. So we can probably take some cinnamon and put it on top of that. Or again, we can make some caramel and drizzle caramel over it. I think we're gonna have something interesting. I really think we're gonna have something interesting. Interesting. But if anybody else is experimenting like this, um, let me know what you think. Uh, am I cooking today? No. And it's not even our day to cook. We cook on Tuesday, so. Tomorrow, I will be heading, um, for those of you that are hearing about the stream, uh, on Tuesdays, we go shopping, so I'll go shopping. The weather's still kind of bad here. I didn't even open the blinds today. But uh, we had a couple of like storms roll through last night, and just moments ago, or hour or so ago, I saw a tornado warnings in one particular part. So everybody be careful out there. Um, but on Tuesdays, I go shopping for um, something that we're going to cook and experiment with. I don't really have, because I'm juicing, I don't really have a taste for a lot of things right now. Um, so we're definitely, we're definitely thinking about amping up the juice. There is something called a 10 day juice fast. And you, that's where you breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner, you have a juice. And I have, I've made that commitment once before. Um, and I'm telling you, the results are really great on it. And I've been trying to figure out like how to flip the weight gain um, to try to get some weight loss going on. So I don't know. I really don't know what to do. So let's check. Let's check these one more time. Right there, we had the pan with well, the pan pops. I'm just gonna kind of show you guys. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yep. There we go. Hold on. Always. Now we know we're cooking. All right, so I think I have, I'm looking, there's a little bit of a crust on there, but I think they need to cook a little bit more. The cranberries are melting. Definitely a nice sizzle. I don't know if you guys can hear the sizzle that's going on. It reminds me of, um, what is this thing? I had them, I had them at um, almost like a chewy raisin kind of thing. I want to give it a little taste. Oh, that's good. That is good. But I need to let it crisp. Mm. Okay, y'all. That's good. I don't know what to... This one? Yeah. So I'm going to let these bake off. I'm going to put these in. This is good. This is really good. Oh, my God. I need a, I need a fork. But I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out like where have I seen, where have I had this? I almost want to definitely put a drizzle on it. This is what I love with um, cooking on the parchment paper, except for setting off the fire alarm. Um, but look, y'all, this is so damn good. Oh my god. 
Okay. You don't miss the flour, but I think if I had the flour in there, it probably would have given me a little bit of a spread. It's almost, I can't even describe, it's almost like a bread. It's in between, a, it's, in, it's more of a bread than a, than a cookie, you know? Like I would definitely want this on some hot ice cream. I would, yeah, it's more of a bread than a cookie. So I, you know what? I'm gonna put that in a loaf pan. No, I'm gonna make droppings like this again. I'm gonna put these back in. Y'all, I don't know if y'all can see that. But see how it crisp up on the bottom? It's almost like a, something crisp. Oh my God. It's the perfect little, need something sweet but not too sweet. It definitely warrants molasses or maple or something. Mm. Oh my goodness, that is good. I'm gonna put these back in if I put it in without setting off the thing here. I love that these little pans cool right away. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna let that finish cooking. I think I'm gonna take the rest of this and either drop it on, we'll do another batch of that. And these little pans, guys, I got these at the dollar store for like a dollar. And I protect them because I put the parchment paper on there. So you can see, even though I've used them a lot, and they're just little flimsy pans, but it protects them. So, and when you want to, what I have noticed is cooking on the parchment paper not only saves the pan, but when you cook cookies and things like that on a light and have that, have that white bottom, the bottom of it. Remember we did the biscuits on there as well? This is really good. Oh my goodness. All right, we gotta figure out now what size do we want of this. And I don't really miss the flour. I, have, I think I just have to figure out. It needs a drizzle. So I'm probably gonna play around with maybe a caramel drizzle. I can see putting this in like a little cookie jar or something. Uh, I don't know what you might eat it with, but the oatmeal, remember, oh, that's right, we did the oatmeal. That's what that is. So it has an oatmeal cookie flavor, because we did do the oatmeal. The peanuts in there, we could definitely taste the peanuts. The cranberries are popping. That's good. So I'm just gonna do, still got more of this left. Oh my God. Well, this is not spreading. I guess we can do a couple more on there. I'll just put a couple here in the center. Oh, honey, shuck, shuck it now. I wish I could get, like, get them really crispy on the outside and then have that chewiness on the inside. Granola, is that what I, I is that what I taste? It's definitely got the sweetness because of the sugar. Let's see if we can get one more, squeeze one more on this one. Cause they don't spread out because they don't have the, they don't have the flour in there. But I think I'm gonna leave that big chunk of apple right there. I'm gonna just drop that one right there, bring this one over. There we go. Somebody say, scrape that bowl, girl, scrape that bowl down. And then again, of course, you know, we threw in everything, including the kitchen sink. You can, based on your ailments, based on your allergies, based on your blood type, however you're eating, you can very simply make whatever substitutions you want to make. That little bit of egg, the adding that extra egg paid off. That's one thing on the moisture, I can tell. Adding in the egg was a good thing, okay? On that note, guys, I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna let that batch finish cooking. I'm gonna put this batch in there. We're gonna figure out what kind of topping needs to go on there. It definitely wants the topping. It even wants a little bit more of a crunch, a little crunch something, because it, it, it definitely, uh, rather than a cookie, it definitely tastes like a really nice apple bread, like a bready. So I can almost, I almost, um, I almost can think that this could have been almost like a muffin, you know, instead of a drop. I think it would have even worked well if we put it in a muffin pan 
Um, I can almost sense it with some, um, I'm trying to think if I got some cream, even even something like all of a sour cream. I mean, it definitely, it definitely is a layer to something else. So just imagine if this was the crust and then something else like a cheesecake was on top of that. This might, we might have discovered a new crust. We discovered something here. And how do we get here? From our juice. When we made our juice, it was my juice. We decided we weren't going to throw away the waste from the juice, the pulp from the juice. And we took the carrot, apple, and ginger, mixed it with a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of butter, two eggs. We um, also ground it up some oatmeal. Okay. Also ground it up some oatmeal. So it's almost like an oatmeal cookie. Added in some cranberries. I mean, everything. And we, not only that, we ground it up some peanuts and put that in there. So it's a little bit of that peanut butter flavor in there as well. So we got something. We just don't know what. <laughs> because I am not a chef. I'm not a baker. But I made this. And when I come into the kitchen, I bring you in the kitchen with me. Thanks, guys. I hope everybody have a great day. I know this is not my normal day. Some people are going to log on like, wait, Dry Bus did a video. Only because I could not get this out of my head, the apple cranberry, apple carrot cookies. And so here it is. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget, we're going shopping tomorrow, and then we'll come back into the kitchen to make our lunch or dinner or whatever y'all got going on here with me but thanks for hanging out with me always guys all right i'm gonna uh hit some couple of buttons here and y'all have a great day all right facebook thank you all so much for always watching listen go give it a try it's really good it is really good